You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week and I'm here with yet another Capcom arcade game and this time it's, it's uh, Magic Sword and um, you may be more familiar with the Super NES version of this it did come out on the Super NES with again a major difference is the Super NES is one player. And this one, I think, I believe you can have two players simultaneously. So. I guess it's a uh, normal thing to say that the arcade version is better than the home console port. And I'm not sure if this got actually re-released anywhere else. I don't want... Okay, oh good, I got like a warrior woman. Oh, I lost my partner. Anyway, that's it for the first level. I know this has like a lot of levels since you have to climb up that uh, tower. Although there are warps every now and then. So, from what I remember, this game is really like a time sink and that you have to spend a lot of uh, time if you want to finish this game and I suppose thanks to the power of emulation you can do save states okay where are we getting this time and I am getting a, like a ninja All right Not sure how a ninja ends up in this part of the world. Might be far from Japan. Okay, continue. Hey, what happened? Uh, not sure what happened there, but uh, it's probably something in the game. Not like a graphical glitch or something. Oh, finally! I went through a warp there, making the game progress a bit faster. But it's not gonna be fast enough for this video. Alright, I got a lot of keys now. Let me waste some of them. What's this? Oh, it just gives me a remove me okay let's see who we get a mysterious cloaked person stone heads that look like they came from easter island or gradius whichever you prefer Some of the opponents here look like they belong to ghosts and ghouls or ghosts and goblins. Anyway, yeah, to be honest, I've never seen this in the arcades before. Um, 
Yeah, I, re I was really more familiar with the SNES version. Uh, back in the day. I think this got... I think this was part of the Capcom arcade collection that uh, came out for PS2 and PSP. Um, I'm not sure. It's been a while. But, uh, I think it is. So, anyway, it's looking great. Let me check that out. Some uh, gorgeous uh, sprite art there. Got a samurai sword. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. This is Magic Sword Arcade running on the PlayStation Classic. And if you are if you love arcade games like me, uh, this game is uh, not bad. It should be included on your thumb drive now. Give it a go. Let me see what this big guy comes up. Okay. It's like the Axe Lord from Castlevania. Alright, and uh, thanks for watching 8 bit days a week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.